Hello, church family. It's great to be here again and to bring you another devotional from God's Word on parenting. Today's Devo is uh, part three of a four-part series on parenting. Today, we're going to start by just refreshing our memories about Abraham and Isaac, specifically what took place with Isaac in his heart when, when he was... We're going to look at it through his perspective. We all know the story that Abraham was instructed to offer his own son as a sacrifice to the Lord. You can find that story, and it's a true story, by the way, in Genesis 22. And I encourage you to read it. Now, I want you to know that this process of offerings to the Lord was regularly performed in that day. This is something that had happened many times with Isaac. And most likely Isaac had been along for the trip many times on his father, as his father offered sacrifice to the Lord. We've all heard the story, but I want you to see it through Isaac's eyes. Isaac was along for the ride that day, so to speak. His father was training him up in the ways of the Lord. He really didn't have any idea what was going on as far as the reality that he was the sacrifice. Do you remember at one point Isaac said, the fire and wood we have here, but where is the lamb for, uh, uh, for the offering? This is where our lesson today about good parenting begins. It begins with you and your willingness to see the importance of sacrifice unto the Lord and to exemplify it and your willingness to bring your children alongside you to witness it. This is one act alone. This one act alone will empower your children for the rest of their life to see you exemplifying the importance of sacrifice. Now we're going to close here simply by reading God's word on the sub subject of sacrifice. But before I do that, I want you to understand that today, as we understand sacrifice, it is equated to service. Service unto the Lord is sacrifice. And how is it that we can serve the Lord? Well, we do that by serving others. So as you bring your children to church to worship God and to learn about God and to understand the ways of the Lord, are you showing them, by example, what it means to sacrifice, to serve? Oh, and I don't mean the money in your pocket, in your wallet. Children have a very, uh, they don't really understand the concept of money. So doing that isn't going to work to show them what sacrifice is all about. That's not the way to try to teach your child that you sacrifice or serve. What they need is to see is that you love others and that you're willing to serve them rather than yourself. The last verse we're going to read today, and it'll be down at the end here, is about Paul and a circumstance that he found himself that was difficult. And the Philippians, there was a few people there that he acknowledged had a sacrificial heart. They were willing to serve him in the ministry. There are so many ways you can show your children what the true meaning of sacrifice and service is. I'm leaving that up to you and your walk with the Lord, your way to show sacrifice. This is one thing that your child will observe in your life that will be one of the most profound elements 
that you will that will shape them for the rest of their life. Now, let's read together four verses out of God's word on the subject of sacrifice and service. As we do, consider your family, consider yourself, and how these verses apply to you and how you can better exemplify and uh, a sacrificial attitude towards God as a good example to your children. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also loved us and has given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. And Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you, brethren, uh, that you, by the mercies of God, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world. This is the good part here. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And here we are, that last verse. Philippians 4, 18 and 19. Indeed, I have all and abound all, Paul says, and I'm full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And may God shall, uh, and may God shall, may, shall he uh, supply all your needs according to his glory in Christ Jesus. Your devotion to the Lord, your willingness to remove the world from your mind, and your willingness to serve others, these are the things that will, if your children witness them in your life, will be played out in their life. And it's a very valuable thing to put into your children. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We pray that this will go forth into these families and that you will in your word, do a work in our hearts and draw us closer to you to serve others and to sacrifice truly and solely to you as a, wit uh, a witness to our children. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.